A Conversation with an Architect. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our podcast. I'm Tom, your host, and today we have a very special guest. Joining us is Mark Preston, a talented architect with over 10 years of experience. Mark, it's great to have you here. Thank you, Tom. It's a pleasure to be here and share a bit about what I do. Wonderful. So, Mark, could you tell us a bit about your daily routine as an architect? I think many listeners would be curious about what an architect's day looks like. Of course. Well, every day is a bit different, which I really enjoy. Generally, I start my day by reviewing current projects and checking in with my team. A lot of my work involves planning and sketching designs, but I also visit construction sites to see how projects are progressing. Then, I often spend the afternoons meeting with clients to discuss their needs and ideas. It sounds like a mix of creativity and practicality. And how did you first decide to become an architect? Was it something you always dreamed of? Yes, actually. I've always loved drawing and creating things with my hands, even as a kid. I was fascinated by buildings and how they're designed. When I got to university, I decided to study architecture, and I knew I'd made the right choice. It combines my love for art and my interest in problem-solving perfectly. That's amazing. And what would you say to young people out there who are interested in architecture? Any tips for those considering this career? Absolutely. First of all, I'd say, be ready to work hard and stay dedicated. Architecture is challenging but very rewarding. It requires a lot of patience and attention to detail. Also, start practicing your drawing skills and understanding spaces around you, maybe even keep a sketchbook. And, of course, study basic math and science, as they're fundamental to the field. Great advice. It sounds like having a strong foundation is important. Now, do you have any specific tips for aspiring architects who want to stand out? Yes, definitely. One thing that helps is building a portfolio, even if you're just starting. Include sketches, ideas, or small projects you've done. And try to stay updated on new trends in architecture. Sustainability, for example, is a big focus now, so showing an interest in eco-friendly designs can set you apart. That's very insightful. And I imagine you have to be quite flexible too, right? Since each project must be different. Exactly. No two projects are ever the same, and each client has unique needs. Being adaptable and open to new ideas is key. Architecture is about blending creativity with practicality, so it helps to keep an open mind. It sounds like a fascinating career, Mark. Thanks for sharing your journey and advice with us today. I'm sure our listeners have learned a lot. Thank you, Tom. It's been a pleasure talking with you. And to all the future architects out there, keep learning, stay curious, and never stop sketching. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mark Preston. Let's call it a day. Have a nice day. Thank you for listening to English Audio Lounge. We hope you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more audio stories and video classes to improve your English.